Hi, my name is Kyle Thompson. And I'm a surrealist photographer. I've lived in Illinois my whole life. I was born like 20 minutes from here and I haven't really moved. I like living around here. It's I've been in the suburbs, so uh, it's kind of a mix of city and rural. If I drive like 45 minutes out east, I'm in Chicago, and out west, it's middle of nowhere cornfields. So I like it. It's kind of a mix of scenery. I think I kind of always wanted to do photography professionally. Uh, like I was starting out, and I was thinking, oh, I could do weddings or something like that. But uh, the further I got, the more I wanted to do the art side of it. I take photos mostly like around my area. For a long time, I was just using my friend's parents' camera. We would like go to abandoned houses and take photos of each other of the houses and stuff like that. I like abandoned houses more than buildings, and my favorite abandoned house is up north. It's like by Wisconsin. And I just like the ones where you can tell a lot about like the person who lived there. I think it's really interesting. After doing that for like about six months or something, I bought a Canon 60D. Uh, that was my first like real DSLR camera that I had for myself. I taught myself how to use the camera, except it took so long to learn everything because for a long, long time, I was pretty much clueless on what I was doing. I was just kind of like learning as I went. It took me like six months before I really knew how to completely use the camera. I did a 365 project where I took a photo every day for a year, and that's basically what brought me from knowing nothing about photography to where I am. I was going to school and working full time the like when I started, and doing that and taking a photo every day and editing it and uploading it, it was crazy. It was so hard, and that kind of like pushed me to uh, kind of keep on learning and keep on improving. And that's definitely what helped my growth by far the most. First, I'll draw things out. I sketch until I can kind of get a concept thought out. And then I'll fine point the details. I'll decide like any props, any clothing. And I'll try to like plan everything out as much as I possibly can beforehand. And then after that, it's just packing everything up and shooting and editing. Most of them, I start in a day and then I end up finishing and doing the whole thing in a day. Well, not really anymore because uh, when I was doing like my 365 project, uh, I was basically doing everything in a day. But now I like to kind of take my time more. When I first started, I wasn't drawing anything out. I was just basically making things up as I went along, which wasn't really the best way to do it. But then I started kind of trying to come up with concepts and I decided that the easiest way to kind of envision them completely was to draw everything out. This is kind of a better example of uh, kind of like refining an idea because I wanted to do something else with cloth and kind of like floating in the air. I started drawing, eventually I came up with this one and that's kind of what I ended up shooting. Just with like tied around the head and wrapping around the body and going downwards. Most of my photos don't cost money. I just use what I already have. Uh, I think the most expensive photo was a series I did recently and it cost like $60, so it wasn't that much money. I just basically throw any stuff that I would use for photos here. I have like tons of like smoke bombs and stuff. I have to go across the border. They're not legal in Illinois for some reason.
So when I do these, I have to expand it. So I kind of take photos all around the frame because my lens isn't so far away and also it gets distorted a bit more. So, okay, so that's what the frame would look like normally. And then I had him hold up the TV and did that. And then I just kind of stacked them up and moved them around right there. And then I brightened it, removed some yellow tones, lightened the body and lightened the hands, and then did an overall color layer. I just kind of craft what I think looks the best, but it kind of plays a problem when I want to do prints. I do a lot that are like squares and stuff because that's like an easy ratio to work with. If I had this as a print, um, it would probably have to crop a little bit off. Like it would probably be like that or something. I'm really glad that I left college and started pursuing photography. It's been working well so far and it just keeps on picking up. It's something I love to do and I have no idea what other career I would pick. I wasn't studying photography, I wasn't studying anything really, I was just taking my gen eds and everything so I had no idea what I was doing. And this gives me something that I'm working towards and it's worked out really well so far. There's nothing else I like as much as this.